Hi, how's it going everyone? My name is Hank and in a previous video, I've talked about how to calculate the intrinsic value of a company using the PE ratio based method. Now, if you haven't checked that out already, I'll put a link to it above. In this video, I'll be going over another commonly used calculation method to analyze companies called the discounted cash flow analysis, also known as the DCF analysis. And I'll be using a real company as an example to carry out the analysis to see uh, how well it actually works on a real company. Now, what exactly is a DCF analysis? This method aims to evaluate an investment based on the future cash flow of an investment. And to put it simply, we can calculate how much investment will generate in the future and work backwards to see how much it is worth today and whether or not you, uh, this is a good investment to invest in. For example, if you have an investment that's calculated to be worth $2,000 in three years time with a 10% uh, growth per year, what is the uh, investment worth today? Or how much should you actually pay for the investment today? We can use this formula to calculate the uh, initial value of the investment today. So the initial value times one plus 10% to the power of three, which is the three years time equals 2000. And by calculating this, we get an initial value of 1000, uh, around 1,500. So $1,500 is around the amount that you want to pay for this investment today, uh, which you will get $2,000 in three years time. Let's now have a look at the steps that you have to go through for the discounted cash flow analysis. So number one, we need to calculate the future cash flow for a particular company. And number two, we need to determine the company discount rate, which is also the rate of return that you're looking for for the company. And number three, we need to calculate the terminal value for a company, assuming it keeps on operating for a long period of time. Number four, we need to work out the uh, present day value from the uh, projected future cash flow. And number five, with all the information above, we can calculate the fair value for the uh, company stock today. Let's now have a look at the uh, first step, which is calculating the uh, future cash flow for a company. So this is the uh, formula for the discounted cash flow analysis. So we have CF equals cash flow. So we have the first year cash flow over the uh, first year rate of return. And we have the second year cash flow over the second year rate of return, where R equals the discount rate, which is the uh, rate of return that you're looking for, and N equals number of years. And normally we want to do an estimate for around five to 10 years time. For a particular company. We can calculate the future cash flow of a company using a few different ways. Now, one of the ways is to look at the past free cash flow versus the uh, revenue generated for a particular company. So we can look that up on Yahoo Finance. Let's use Apple as an example here. Now, if we go to the financial and then we go to cash flow, we can look at the uh, free cash flow for Apple over the past few years, and we can try to work out whether it's increased or has decreased. And we can use that amount for our free cash flow analysis. Now, I find that an easier way is to simply go to the analysis tab and simply look up the growth estimate for the company, which in this case is 12.46%, and use that growth value as the estimate for the increases in cash flow for the next few years. Let's go to my spreadsheet that I use for calculating intrinsic value. So currently the stock price for Apple is that amount, and that's its earnings per share. And I can enter the growth rate that I got from Yahoo Finance, which is 12. 0.46% and we're going to use this for the uh, growth rate for the 
cash flow over the uh, next couple of years. So we're going to do a discount cash flow analysis for the next five years. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to look up the uh, free cash flow for the last calendar year. So I'm going to go to financials and go to cash flow and I'm going to look up the free cash flow that they have for the last calendar year, which is that value. And I'm going to copy that value and I'm going to put it in here. So what the spreadsheet has done here is that for the first year, it increased the uh, cash flow over the previous year by 12%. In the second year, it increased another 12% over the uh, previous year and it's estimated that for the next five years. The next step is to determine the uh, company's discount rate. So the discount rate is uh, noted as R in the uh, formula and it is the required rate of return from the business given the various different risks that the business is taking. Now for a company we often use the uh, weighted average cost of capital, also known as WAC. So this is the uh, formula for WAC. Uh, it is quite a complicated formula that, uh, for calculating this value, where E equals market value of the firm's equity, D equals the uh, value of the firm's debt, and includes the cost of equity, cost of debt, and also the uh, corporate tax rate. Now, what I find easiest is simply to go on Google and just look up the uh, WAC for various companies and I found that to be the most uh, time efficient way. I mean you can always look up these values for the uh, company on either Yahoo Finance or the uh, company's financial statement but I find it generally easier to just look up the uh, value on Google. So let's go and look them up. We can look up the uh, WAC for Apple on Google and we come up with a low of 7.7, me medium value of 8.5 and a high value for 9.7. In this situation, it's always good to be, uh, probably be a little bit more conservative. So I could use 7.7 .7 as the uh, WAC value for Apple. So I'll go and go back and input that into my uh, spreadsheet so I can go with 7.7%. The next step is to calculate the terminal value for a company. And this is the formula for calculating the terminal value for a company, where R is still the discount rate and G is the perpetual growth rate. So this is assuming that the uh, company pretty much grows indefinitely over a long period of time. Now, because a company cannot keep on growing at a high rate over an extended period of time, we often use the uh, growth of the economy, so the rate of growth or for the economy as the perpetual growth rate. So we use the uh, last value for our free cash flow projection as the uh, final uh, cash flow value. So the terminal value calculates the value of a company past the projected growth years and assume that it continues on growing. Now back to our spreadsheet, we need to enter a value for the uh, perpetual growth rate. And the growth of the US economy is roughly around 2.5% over the long period of time, which is quite close to the uh, inflation rate. So we're going to use 2.5% as our perpetual growth rate. So here on my spreadsheet, I've already entered the uh, formula in, so it'll calculate the uh, terminal value for the uh, company automatically. The next thing that we're going to do is to work out the present day value, which is the uh, total discounted cash flow of, for the uh, particular company. We can calculate the present day value by dividing the projected cash flow by the discount factor and adding all of them up which I will show you in the uh, spreadsheet once again. So here we have our projected free cash flow over the next five years plus our terminal cash flow amount. And we're going to divide it by the discount factor. So here we assumed a uh, 
discount rate of around 7.7%. So after the first year, it's roughly around 1.08, and the second year, it's around roughly 1.16. So we are going to divide the uh, projected cash flow by the discount factor, which will give you the estimated present day value for these uh, future cash flow projections. And for the uh, total discounted cash flow, we're going to add all of these value up to give our uh, final discounted cash flow. The next step that we're going to do is to use all of the uh, values that we attained before to calculate the fair value for a company and see whether its uh, company shares is undervalued or overvalued. So first up, we need to look for the uh, number of outstanding shares for a particular company. If the fair value is greater than the current price, then the stock might be on a discount. If the fair value is lower than the current price, the uh, company stock may be overpriced. So first of all, we're going to find the number of outstanding shares for the company. In order to do that, we're going to go back to Yahoo Finance and look in statistics for the company. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for shares outstanding. And in this case, Apple has 4.28 billion outstanding shares. Back in our spreadsheet, we need to enter the 4.28 billion outstanding shares into the box here. And because all the, the uh, factors are in number of thousands, so 4.2 billion shares becomes 4280000 number of shares outstanding. And it's actually slight mistakes here. The final fair value for the uh, company share is calculated by dividing the uh, discounted cash flow by the total number of outstanding shares. And what we have here is the fair value for Apple is around $415. Now, current Apple price is $460 per share. And this is above the uh, fair value calculator using the discounted cash flow analysis. So Apple may be considered a little bit overvalued at the moment. Now, there are several uh, limitations for the discounted cash flow analysis. First of all, is that it relies on forecasts of future cash flow. And depending on how you actually calculate the uh, future cash flow, it may affect your final results quite significantly. The uh, second main factor is the calculation for your discount rate, which is your rate of return that you're expecting, which is the WAC number with the uh, long formula. So a change in the uh, discount rate may significantly affect your result as well. And obviously there's just tons and tons of variables when it comes to uh, calculating using this method. However, it's still considered as one of the uh, better methods for calculating the uh, fair value for a company or even just an investment. I hope this video has given you a rough idea of how to calculate the uh, fair value for a company using the discounted cash flow analysis. I'll include a link to the uh, spreadsheet in the descriptions below. Uh, feel free to ask me if you have any questions on this and I'll see you in the next video.